Okay, so today I am going to show you how to make something really simple. Um, it's a nightlight using the Oral-B uh, charger port. Um, this is my Oral-B toothbrush and sometimes I don't need to charge but it just sits right there in the bathroom. So I decided to make a nightlight in for, for it. And it's very simple. It looks something like this right here. And look, it light up. See that? And there's no batteries. It doesn't require batteries or anything like that. And that's all it does. Um, and look, you can switch all over the place. And you can make it dim if you want. Watch. You lift it up a little bit, it goes dimmer and you push it down it goes brighter and it's very simple I guess I don't know what you would call it um, uh, maybe an Oral-B toothbrush hack for a, a nightlight maybe but it's, it's, it's see how I lift it up and see how less energy because it's, 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 a, it's a charging thing you can just easily do it with the night light like right that just like that right there and using things very simple I'm gonna turn the light on so you can see I'm gonna talk about the list the, the part list and then we can uh, we can make it um, and that's from my Oral-B um, charger and you can probably make it bigger uh, for the you know those foam wireless phone charge you can do that too but anyway I'm gonna charge my my toothbrush while I'm doing it okay um, all you need is just a simple soldering iron and LED light and in my case I use 26 gauge mag wires okay the reason why it's there's nothing special about this they just have coating on it okay and if you can't get that, you can actually you get it out of ballast. If you take this apart right here, there's a bunch of copper wires in there. And you can unwind that. You will need something to fit over. For instance, like this right here, I find a, a marker fit perfectly over, over them. So, like that. See how it sits like that? So I'm going to use that as my base, as my coil. Because all we're doing is just a coil and a winding. See that? And then you, you solder these these end in together. And that's it. That's all there is. Pretty quick, easy, and simple. And the person who invented this wireless that proposed and successfully transferred was Nicholas uh, Tesla. Um... He's the, Tesla was the one that actually invented this in 1890. That was the pro first proposed. And I believe 1891 is where he he completed his thing. He proved his theory. So that's what basically is. It's just a power transfer wirelessly through there. And see? The, 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 the closest you are to the base, the brighter the LED. And I, I'm going to use this as a, as a nightlight. That's what it looks like. Okay. So, and then look how cute that is. It's like a little nightlight. A little night lamp. When I'm not charging, um, I wish I can just slap this on and charge it. But I need it longer, I guess. Because, see, not enough. It's not long enough. So, I'm going to put the camera on here. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. Really easy. More time consuming to put this thing together than. Oops, I want to go closer. Okay. So now we're going to try this. I'm going to put the light over here so maybe you can see a little bit better. The hardest part on this project is, is, is this right here. Because this LED light is really tiny. You see how small that is? And it doesn't have to be positive or negative. It will work either way. Like watch. If I take this. And put it upside down. It's still going to work. 
See? Still lights up. Either way will work. And you can spin it 360. See? And it's still going to work. Basically, it's just wireless transfer. That's what that's the way it is. Anyway, so I'm going to put that down. Oh, maybe we can get lights to here. Anyway, so now I'm going to turn my soldering iron on. And because I have wire, I don't have to show you how to take it out of here. This is the ballast from um, uh, an LED. Or they have them in the um, fluorescent light bulb too. You can steal out of that. It's just basically coil winding. And that's how it stores its energy. So basically, that's what that is. It grabs the energy and then it feeds it to the positive and negative here. That's what that basic concept is. But right now, I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay. So now remember, I use 26 gauge and I need about 10 feet. Okay. So I'm going to measure 10 feet and then I'll. Um, I'll cut it and then I'll, I'll show you how to wind it. I'm going to give it just a little bit extra. Depend on your on your thing of course. Um, the higher the voltage then you need more wire. The lower the voltage you need less. And pretty much same thing as your output as well. So less output then you need less. Now you see this wire here they are coated so you would have to uncoat it so in my case I'm gonna use you can burn it off if you want in my case I'm gonna use um, uh, a razor blade to, to peel it off because they put a coating on here they just protect that wire that's why it's winding and it's not touching each other you see that aren't able to touch each other that's what's good about these wires they call them mag wires but magnetic or they use this in um uh motors and stuff like that so anyway now remember that little concept here i'm just going to use that as a winding so i'm going to count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 1, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 7, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, about 75 windings. Okay? Now, when you take this apart, it's going to bounce like that. You see that so what you do is you would choose here and put this together put these two together okay and then tie them in you can tie it it won't hurt anything because it's a it's a it, like I said it's coding it's coded so all you do is just put the winding through here so it can hold it together let me put the winding in here whoops just round like this go round and round basically I'm just tying it you can actually tie it separately too if you want and around just loop it loop it all around if you want see until it comes like that so in my case I'm just going to loop it over here too so it will be a little bit better. And then you can always adjust it. Okay. Remember that. When you put it on to this thing right here you can adjust it. See. I don't know what would you call this. A night light? Hmm. 
and then put another loop I'm gonna do one more and see now they come together see how they come together so here this is where you are gonna have to decide how far you want your neck is so it's sort of like a a little tiny um, neck light I guess you would say you would call it I don't know maybe that's what you would call it I don't know what you would call this but for me it's just a night light for me but just an idea so now you got both of them the windings there okay now I'm gonna get a scissor so I can cut them so you can so it can be nicer so I'm just gonna cut this off right here okay they come together so I can saw them together and then remember we have to take this coating off so both sides has to be taken off just rub it with with your you have sandpapers or something you can do that too but for me it'll be easier to do this see that's it same thing on this side I think I did that one already but I'm gonna do it again just in case I missed something you can burn it if you want to you can take a lighter and burn it if you want they just code this I think it's your what is it called polyurethane I think that's what they're coding with and remember that the orientation doesn't matter okay so you just dip it in here and then you need some kind of solder um, so it can stick on to the LED so now you just uh, can you see I hope you can see and you just touch it right here oops it's small really small so you have to like work really carefully and see I touched it and then you touch the side do the same thing and make sure it stick nicely because it'll get hot it does get hot and anything ax ax access access what did you say actually I don't have any but I, if you do nail clipper okay nail nail clipper is the best thing to cut things with see and you're done quick easy and simple and now you just find your adjust and you would have to adjust this of course to your liking okay and remember it can go either way it can twist either way it doesn't matter the orientation although LED is supposed to be but it doesn't matter in this case and I take that off and then I'm going to test this one see it light up the same way and see bright nice and bright You have to you have to wind your, your your thing carefully, of course. And this has um, see. And look, even can spin around and it'll still light. Ready? It'll still light up when it spins around. <laughs> Ain't that cool? But anyway, this is actually inspired by by Tesla but that's how it looks like that's what it looks like you can make tons of it if you have these port a cordless port cordless charger or whatever that's what you can do see? this one's a little brighter because I think I have less winding on that one so I probably have to make less winding but now you get the idea how to make it and it's just a mini LED night light you can use this as a mini LED night light I guess you can say I would say um let's see two try two. Oh, this one just light up a little bit not too much it's stealing that power though see it I hope you can see it 
there is stealing its power it lit up but it's not like bright bright see because you're missing this part right here the, the 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 part that transfer the power is like right here we're missing it so this one here works the best because first of all it's smaller second it is um uh, less winding and it is actually cl a lot closer than the other one I didn't do too good job on this one though you see how big that one is too and that's it that's all it does and I I'm gonna use this as my nightlight let me shut my thing off but that's all it does and you see how it looks kind of cool and now uh, camera kind of bad here you go see it's all it does is it acts like a nightlight and see when you take it off let's say I'm not charging anything let's say I'm there if I'm charging my toothbrush I just leave it on and I'll let you charge you see that so that's how it's wirelessly transferred through using that charger and then at night time when I when this is full I can just take it off and I'll just leave that as a little light as a night light after all, I don't have to do anything. No batteries or anything, you see. Plus, it's already there already. So, I don't know what would you call that. Um, mini, I don't know. Mini, um, I would say, mini, uh, nightlight. Or something else. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, or Oral-B uh oral b toothbrush hack i guess you can say uh name it whatever you like but um anyway that is about it and i hope uh if you get one of these if you want to have one of these you can just make one because see it doesn't need no batteries or anything as i showed earlier just why is really in an led that's it really how easy it is and then you can use this as tall as you want make this section right here as tall as you want short tall whatever you want um i'm just gonna use this as my nightlight so when it's not charging i'm just gonna slap that on there so then when you shut down the light let's see ta-da little night light and then if you raise it up look less light let's see you put it down more light raise it up the more you raise, the more is up, and you take it off, it's off, Take, put it back on. See that? Anyway, other than that, that's about it. Um, I guess I should take a, a picture, maybe in the night or something, and use it as my Oral-B um, Oral toothbrush hack. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you have one of these, you can make one. Um, you can make a little nightlight for your... Um, but anyway, it's, it's a good way to learn um, wireless transfer. And pretty much that's how wireless transfer of electricity, of course. In this case, that's electricity. But that's how wireless transfer works, too. Pretty much the same principle. Anyway, other than that, that's about it on this video.